Mike Checker. Chicka, chicka, chicka. It's not some, baby. Uh, yeah. A one time, baby. Uh, what? A for your mind, baby. Uh, yeah. We gon' shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gon' grind, baby. Uh, yeah. What? And this is another episode. So, so. A Swingers After Dark. And this is your host. Not some, baby. Here we go. Uh, what's good, family? What's good? You know, have you ever looked down your news feed and you see the same dudes calling women all types of bitches and hoes and sluts and thoughts? Bitch, hoe, slut, thought. The four horsemen of their ideas when it comes to women. And let's not get it fucked up. You have a lot of scandalous bras out there. Let's not get this twisted, baby. You have a lot of no good motherfuckers. And the physical form called the female anatomy. Yes. You have a lot of chicks who ain't shit. And I get it. I I really do. And at the same time, you have a lot of dudes with mommy issues. Because they were birthed by a chick who wasn't shit. And yes, I am going there. Yes, I am. I am going there. I'm going down, down, down there, baby. Because we got to get to the root of the problem. We got to get the roots of the issue. And because she gave birth to you, not saying you specifically, I'm saying you in general. Because she gave birth to you by no good motherfucker called your daddy, she takes out her frustrations on you. She may whip you. She may whip your ass, beat you with brooms, sticks, extension cords, mops, shoes, boots, and then everything that she could come across. And because of that, you develop a hatred towards women. Like you hate women because of how your mother treated you. And I get it. Your mother, you know, just because she had a fucked up relationship with your daddy. And once again, I'm not saying you. I'm saying specifically. I mean, generally rather. I'm not saying you specifically. I'm saying you generally. But fuck all the disclaimers. If the shoe fit, wear it. If it don't, then throw the shit away and get another shoe that fits. But anyway, like your mother did not want you. She hated you. You know, she saw you as the curse, as the burden of her life. She wanted to party, turn up, fuck as many dudes as she wanted. Or go after the career that she wanted. But she saw you as a burden. You held her back. And not only that, she gave birth to you from a nothing ass motherfucker called your daddy. Better known as your daddy. Commonly known to you as your daddy. And you probably never met him. 9.9999% of the time. And because your mama don't want you, she abandoned you, left you to fend for yourself, didn't want any parts of you. And you take out your frustration on other women. You unload your baggage upon other women who don't deserve it. They're like, they don't know about your relationship with your mother. So why are you taking it out on them? They have nothing to do with it. And you see a lot of mommy issues manifest itself when you go on social media. Like everything negative in regards to females is bad. It's nothing good. You would think when you go on social media and go on certain dudes pages, you would think that women was like the bad thing, the worst thing that happened on the planet Earth. And yes, you had the story of Adam and Eve. Yes, you had Samson and Delilah. But God damn, it's like, you know, the, it, it takes to the tangle. Yes, it, it takes to the tangle. And, you know, it, it's crazy to paint a picture of women as these horrible creatures when you have women who want to be by your side. You have women who will ride or die for you. You have women who, who will feed you before they will feed their fucking kids. And you have those type of women in the world. You have women who will worship the sidewalk that you step on. But because you never came across that type of woman. And because your mama wasn't shit. And because she treated you like shit. You want to generalize. Say women ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. That's how you see women. Because you have mommy issues. And then you want to go on social media and you know... You wanna you wanna look you wanna use the lowest common denomination, the lowest common denominator of women to judge womankind as a whole. 
And that's not fair because you have a lot of chicks with daddy issues who do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You have a lot of chicks who have daddy issues who do the same shit. They want to say how men ain't shit, how men are dogs, every man cheat, you know, we got to defeat the patriarchy. It's like, what the fuck do I have to do with the fucking patriarchy? <laughs> like, I'm not benefiting from that shit. Like, where's my patriarchy? Listen, show me my patriarchy. Show me how I'm benefiting from patriarchy. Because if anything, we're in a matriarchy. Like, think about it. Holy matrimony. Matriarchy. Matrimony. M-A-T. Matriarchy. The mother goddess. We're under the era of the mother goddess. And the men, they're just the forefront. It may look like a patriarchy. But behind closed doors, it's a fucking matriarchy. But that's a whole nother discussion. I want to get back to the lecture at hand. You know, fellas, like on some real shit, all jokes aside, all bullshit aside, you know, when you know that you have mommy issues, when you grow up in a toxic household, you know, with a mother, she tried her hardest. She did her best with what she could, but it wasn't enough. You understand me? She wasn't ready to take on the responsibilities of caring for you, taking care of you as her seed, as her as her precious valuable, as her legacy, as a part of her legacy. She was not equipped for that. And, you know, you got to forgive mommy. It, you have to have that relationship with your mother so y'all could come to an understanding. So y'all can have closure. Yes, mommy, I know what you did was fucked up, but, you know... Let bygones be bygones and heal together. You know, it's like get to the root of the problem and stitch up the open wounds that may persist throughout the years. And then once you have that heart to heart with your mother, with mom dukes, with your old earth, then work on yourself. Because you have a lot of dudes, they know they have mommy issues. They know that they're treating women in a certain manner because of their relationship or lack thereof with their mothers. They know this. But they do the same things. They do the same shit because they're too lazy to change. They're stubborn. Because humans, we're creatures of habit and change disturbs our routine. So it's up to you. It's like instead of going on social media and going on this crusade against women. Yes, you have women who ain't shit. But it's not fair to judge women as a whole based on the lowest common denominator that you want to use as a fucking example. You're just selling yourself short, but a lot of times dudes are trolling because they want attention. They want attention they, they, that they did not get from their mothers. So they go on this tirade because they're projecting the image of their mothers onto, onto miscellaneous women. M women that they don't even know. They want that attention. You know? So that, that's why I don't I don't take dudes serious on social media because a lot of these commentation, commentary about women, a lot of stuff that they say about women is just a cry for help. A lot of commentary that they say about women, they're crying for help. It is. And then they have a legion of dudes thinking that women ain't shit. No. Yeah, it's like you got to separate the real from the fake, baby. It's like, what you going to do? Like, let's say, let's say women are evil for the sake of argument. Let's say women ain't shit. They are evil. They the scum of the earth. They're not worth the gum that's on the bottom of my shoe. Let's say that for the sake of argument. Who you going to fuck? You going to fuck your five fingers? You going to fuck your hand? There's going to be a time when you tire of masturbating. What next? Blow up dolls. Dolls who look like women, actual women. But what you going to do when that blow up dog can't interact? Like there's nothing like busting another in the chick or hearing the chick moan and scream and y'all sharing vibes and energies and stuff like that. It's like y'all, y'all, you know, sweat dripping down on her into you, you know, it's like y'all painting each other with sweat. Y'all, y'all souls collide. There's no feeling like that. You, you, when you in the pussy, the pussy squeezing your dick like a fist. Close open, close open, close open, close open. That will make you nut. 
That, that feeling you can't get from a fucking robot, from a blow-up doll. So when you get tired of the blow-up doll, what next? What's next? Are you going to fuck animals? Are you going to get your bestiality on? It's like, what next? And it's like, a, a lot of cats, man, a lot of people, you know, everybody has issues. I have issues. But the thing is, I recognize those issues and I work daily to rectify those issues. To strengthen my weaknesses. To make me the better person that I could become. You understand me? And that's part of the keys of life. So instead of taking out your frustration on women who don't deserve it. Because there are plenty of good women out there. There are plenty of bad, of, of bad girls out there. And there are plenty of good girls out there. And give the good girls their roses. You know, there's a lot of good women out there. Plenty. You understand me? And go after the go after those who love you and reciprocate that love. Understanding is the highest form of love. And when you understand your mate, your spouse, your significant other, then everything's gravy, baby. Everything's peaches and cream. You know? It's like the good life to be with somebody who understands you, who knows you. You feel me? So, um, family, I, I just wanted to, you know, like I said earlier, commentation. <laughs> Not commentary, it's commentation. I'm making up my own words, goddammit. Yes, it's commentation. You have a lot of dudes on social media with the commentation. Bitch, ho, slut, skank, tramp, skeezer. Floozy. You know, and like I tell the women, it's not that whoever you dating ain't shit. It, or it's not that women ain't shit. It's your dating choices ain't shit, motherfucker. Step your game up. Stop dealing with scallywags. Stop dealing with the apple on the fucking ground and reach for the golden apple at the top, baby. Because sky's the limit. Get the best, get the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme. Don't deal with these scallywags just for you to go on social media to have something to talk about when you really want attention. You know, this is what I come to realize. A lot of dudes and people in general, they purposely put themselves in a situation to where they have no choice but to play like they're a victim. They so entrenched, entrenched in victimhood that they love playing victim just so they could get the attention that they seek for by going on social media to air out their differences. They don't have the rulership mentality. When you have the rulership mentality, you do not deal with fucking peasants. You deal with people who are on your level or above. But people want attention so bad that they use victimhood to garner their attention that they didn't get growing up. So that's why they got mommy issues. Some people enjoy playing victim. Some people enjoy being messy. You have pe people who want to fix the problem, whether it's going to therapy sessions or uh, psychologists, psychiatrists rather, or they handle their issues themselves internally. And then you have the rest of the world who don't give a fuck. They bask in the glory of victimhood because they want the attention. Victimhood is their key. It's, their, it's like they're emotionally bankrupt. So they want attention as their currency. You understand me? They want that attention as their currency because they did not get their attention at home. So when they grow up, they become attention whores and bec they become messy. And they're projecting their hate towards their women to the rest of the world. But, you know, I, I don't want to get my Dr. Roof on. You know, I, I said what I had to say. It is what it is. You feel me? So make amends with the past. And when you make amends, you know, when you make amends with the past, the future is bright as day, baby. It's bright as day. And on that note, baby, this is another episode of Swingers After Dark, baby. And this is your host. It's not some, baby. 
Check out my website at www.nasunblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them, The Swinging Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBooks, Google Play. Go get it. Shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up with any questions or concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. You're the dick. And on that note, until next time. Peace.